Yes, let's solve a question based on negative minority interest. A Limited acquired 70% of equity shares of B Limited on 1st April 2010 at a cost of rupees 10 lakhs. When B Limited had an equity share capital of rupees 10 lakhs and results in surplus of 80,000. In the four consecutive years, B Limited fared badly and suffered losses. So that might be the reason that why the minority interest may turn out to be negative. So the loss figures are given. Thereafter, in 2014-15, B Limited experienced turn around and registered an annual profit of rupees 50,000. In the next two years, B Limited recorded annual profits of so and so. Show the minority interest. So we are supposed to calculate the minority interest and cost of control at the end of each year for the purpose of consolidation. Remember, as far as cost of control is considered, cost of control is nothing but the working for goodwill or capital reserve. The working for goodwill or capital reserve will remain the same irrespective of when you are preparing the consolidated balance sheet. See, when, when we calculate the cost of control, we are comparing the cost of investment with the share in the net assets of the subsidiary on the date of acquisition. Now, net assets on the date of acquisition will remain the same. So goodwill or capital reserve remains unchanged. You determine the goodwill or capital reserve on the date of acquisition, or you determine goodwill or capital reserve of any other balance sheet date, the goodwill or capital reserve will remain unchanged. But the minority interest will keep on changing. So we have to work out the minority interest over here. We have to also work out over here the cost of control. Minority interest I will calculate at the end of each year. Cost of control I will calculate once and then keep on showing that same cost of control in every subsequent consolidated balance sheet that I am going to prepare. Now, your date of acquisition is 1st April 2010 and you have acquired the shares at the cost of rupees 10 lakhs. The day when you are acquiring the shares, equity share capital is 10 lakhs and reserves and surplus is 80,000. So one can argue that the net assets on the date of acquisition is equity share capital plus reserves and surplus, which is 10 lakh 80,000. And we have acquired 70% shares. So we can very easily calculate the cost of control. So let's be clear with the cost of control first, then we work out the minority interest. For cost of control, I will require the pre-acquisition net assets. So we say, determination of cost of control, right? Let's work it out. We have to compare the cost of investment with the share in the net assets. So we say cost of investment on 1st April 2010 Right, 70% shares that you have acquired has costed you 10 lakhs. We say less. Share in net assets on 1st April 2010. We understand net assets as assets minus liabilities, but as a balance sheet equation, Assets minus liability is equal to share capital plus reserves and surplus. So share capital is already given. It is 10 lakhs. So I say here 10 lakhs and the reserves on 1st April 2010 is 80,000. So that turns out to be 10 lakh 80,000. We have, uh, sorry, 70%, sorry, we have 70% shares so we will multiply this by 70 percent so 
10 lakh 80 thousand into 70 percent that is turning out to be 7 lakh 56 thousand this we compare with 10 lakhs right 10 lakhs minus 7 lakh 56 thousand we are getting 2 lakh 44 thousand so i work out the difference 2 lakh 44 thousand it is positive so it is goodwill we clarify goodwill of rupees 2,44,000 on 1st April 2010 shall remain unchanged shall remain unchanged for each subsequent for each subsequent consolidated balance sheet whenever you prepare the consolidated balance sheet whenever right whenever you are preparing the consolidated balance sheet your goodwill will remain unchanged it will remain unchanged at two lakh forty four thousand so no need to calculate this for every balance sheet date one calculation is sufficient However, that will not be so for the minority interest. Yes, for minority interest, we will have to do proper calculations. So we say determination of minority interest yes we will calculate this on each of the dates we will say share of minority right the share of minority will be 30 percent we have acquired 70 percent shares that's the reason share of minority which is pre-acquisition share of minority in post-acquisition. This will give us actual minority interest. We will say next minority interest reported and we prepare one remark call yeah i do have a copy of the question with me so we have acquired the shares on first april 2010 so 31st March 2011, that will be the very first balance sheet date. Pre-acquisition, we already know is 10 lakh 80, right? 10 lakh 80. 30% 30 of that belongs to the minority shareholders. So I put here 3 lakh 24,000. The way I'm getting is it is 10 lakh 80 into 30%. So we get 3 lakh 24. Now, They are saying that B Limited fared badly and suffered a loss of 2,50,000. So take 2,50,000 and multiply that by 30%. So 75,000 of this belongs to the minority shareholders. We go for the next one, 31st March 2012. This 3,24,000 will remain as it is, right? Next year, you are suffering a loss of 4 lakhs. So in the previous year, you had suffered a loss of 2 lakh 50. Now you are suffering a loss of 4 lakhs. So the total loss suffered after the acquisition of shares is 6 lakhs 50,000. 
multiply that by 30 percent so that turns out to be negative 1,95,000 next 31st March 2013 this will remain as it is 3,24 this is the third year now from the date of acquisition Earlier you suffered a loss of 2 lakh 50, then you suffered a loss of 4 lakhs, now you are suffering a loss of 5 lakhs. So the total loss that you have suffered ever since the shares have been acquired is 11 lakh 50,000. So 11 lakh 50,000 into 30 percent, it is turning out to be 3 lakh 45,000. Then next, 31st March 2014, this remains as it is, 3 lakh 24. Now another loss of 1,20,000. So the total loss that the subsidiary has suffered till now in these four years is 12,70,000. It's 30% belongs to the minority shareholders, right? So we put that figure over here, just a second. I lost the connection, just a second. Yes. So the loss that you have suffered at uh, total is 3,81,000. Let's go for the next date now, 31st March 2015. It's again 3,24,000 over here. Now they are saying that B Limited experienced a turnaround and registered a profit of 50,000. So considering the profit of 50,000, now the total loss that you have suffered ever since we acquired the shares in this company is 12 lakh 20 thousand that 12 lakh 20 i multiply by 30 percent it is turning out to be 3 lakh 66 thousand then i have 31st march 2016 this will remain as it is 3 lakh 24 okay now there is a profit of 1 lakh so i consider 1 lakh total now it is loss of 11 lakh 20 thousand so that I multiply by 30%. So that is turning out to be negative 3,36. And the final date which they have given is 31st March 2017. This will remain as it is, 3,24. Now a profit of 1,50. So total now it's a loss of 9,70,000 into 30%. So I'm getting negative 2,91,000. Great. It is now time to add up these figures. Okay. So 3 lakh 24 is there. Add to it negative 75. Your minority interest is turning out to be 2 lakh 49,000. Your minority interest is positive. So it will be reported as it is in the balance sheet. Okay. 3 lakh 24 and now a loss of 1 lakh 95. Minority interest is 1,29,000. It is positive, so it will be reported as it is in the balance sheet. Okay, now it is 3,45. I am getting minority interest as negative 21,000. Minority interest has become negative. As per accounting standard 21, negative minority interest cannot be reported in the balance sheet. If the minority interest becomes negative, it is to be reported at nil value. So when I will prepare my balance sheet, I will show minority interest as nil. And this 21,000 is additional loss to be borne by the parent. So in the remark column, I say loss of rupees 21,000 borne by a limited right the parent is a limited so it will be borne by a limited okay three lakh twenty four thousand and two that i consider the loss of three lakh eighty one so i am getting minority interest as negative fifty seven thousand it will still be reported at nil right still it will be reported at nil now fifty seven thousand and the earlier loss was twenty one so there is further loss of 36,000, which has been borne by A Limited. 57,000 will not be borne by A Limited in the current year. This is the total loss to be borne by A. 21 was already borne, so 36,000 will be borne. So we say loss of rupees 
36,000 born by A limited. How am I getting 36? 21,000. Just a second. The way I am getting is 21,000 negative in the previous year and 57,000 negative in the current year. So that's the difference of 36,000 that we consider here. Okay, let's proceed. 3,24 and 3,66. I am getting 42,000. 42,000. It's still negative. But as you can see from 57,000, it has now become 42. There is a reduction. It has reduced by 15,000. This means loss of 15,000 that was born earlier is getting recovered. You know, this is the year in which the subsidiary is earning a profit of 50,000. 50,000, 30% is 15,000. Additional loss is borne by the parent. But whenever the subsidiary will earn profit, whenever the subsidiary will earn profit, that profit will not be shared with the minority shareholders. That profit will go to the consolidated PNL. Parent will take away that profit till the earlier absorbed losses recovered. So we can say here that loss of rupees 15,000 is recovered. And you can cross check this 15. In this year, the subsidiary earned a profit of 50,000. 50,000 is 30 percent is 15,000. So we are going to credit our PNL by 15,000. Okay, let's move further now to the next year, 324 and now 336. So it's turning out to be negative 12,000. So we are getting here negative 12. It is still negative. So minority interest will be reported in the balance sheet at nil. But as you can see, the previous figure was minus 42, which has now become minus 12. It has reduced by 30,000. That means loss of rupees 30,000 is recovered. So loss of rupees 30,000 is recovered. Cross check that. In this year, the subsidy made a profit of 1 lakh. 1 lakh 30% is 30,000, right? So we are recovering the loss of 30,000 over here. Fine. 324 and 291. My minority interest is 33,000 now. The moment it becomes positive, it will be shown as it is. As it is. Now, if you check over here, first 21,000 and then 36,000. So total 42,000 rupees of loss was borne by A, right? 42. From 42, uh, sorry, 57, sorry, 57. 21,000 and 36. So total 57,000 rupees of loss was borne by the parent. From that, I deduct 15,000 because 15,000 is recovered. Then I deduct 30,000 because 30,000 is also recovered. So now we are recovering the loss of 12,000 rupees. So we say loss of rupees 12,000 is recovered. If you do not believe me, cross check. What is the profit in the last year? 1,50,000. So profit is 1,50,000. 30% of 1,50 belongs to the minority shareholders. So 45,000 belongs to the minority shareholders. But 12,000 rupees of loss is still to be recovered. So from 45,000, I deduct 12,000. From 45,000, I deduct 12,000. The moment you will say 45 minus 12, you will get 33,000. This 33,000 of the profit, we will be sharing with the minority shareholders. I'd like to give you a full view of what we have done. Here it is. Yes.